Hello everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel Psych E Patshala. To get notified about our future videos, click on the subscribe button on the home page and hit the bell icon and choose all option. Also go and search Psych E Patshala on Facebook. Go to our Facebook page and give us a like. Let's start today's video. Now let us discuss what are the sources or causes of prejudice. The first factor we will discuss is social factors. What is the social inequalities, unequal status and prejudice? A principle to remember, unequal status breeds prejudice. Masters view slaves as lazy, irresponsible, lacking ambition, as having just those traits that justify the slavery. Some people notice and justify status differences. Those high in social dominance orientation tend to view people in terms of hierarchies. The second factor associated with causes of prejudice is socialization. Prejudice springs from unequal status and from other social sources including our acquired values and attitudes. The influence of family socialization appears in children's prejudices which often mirror those perceived in their mothers. The third factor under social factors is religion and prejudice. In almost every country, leaders invoke religion to sanctify the present order. The use of religion to support injustice helps explain a consistent pair of findings concerning North Americans' Christianity. Church members express more racial prejudice than non-members and those professing traditional or fundamentalist view. Now, how conformity and institutional support causes prejudice? Once established, prejudice is maintained largely by inertia. If prejudice is socially accepted, many people will follow the path of least resistance and conform to the fashion. They will act not so much out of a need to hate as out of a need to be liked, liked, accepted. Social institutions such as schools, government and the media may bolster prejudice through overt policies such as segregation or by passively reinforcing the status quo. Institutional supports for prejudice like that reader are often unintended and unnoticed. Now the factors of in-group bias, need for status, self-regard and belonging causes prejudice. The group definition of who you are, your gender, race, religion, marital status, academic measure implies a definition of who you are not. The circle that includes us, that called in-group, excludes them, that called out-group. Status is relative. To perceive ourselves as having status, we need people below us. Thus, one psychological benefit of prejudice or of any status system is a feeling of superiority. Most of us can recall a time when we took secret satisfaction in another's failure. Perhaps seeing a brother or sister punished or a classmate failing a test. Now let us discuss the psychodynamic approach that causes prejudice. The first one is frustration and aggression, that is the scapegoat theory. Pain and frustration often evoke hostility when the cause of our frustration is intimidating or unknown, we often redirect our hostility. Competition is an important source of frustration that can fuel prejudice. When two groups compete for jobs, housing or social prestige, one group's goal fulfillment can become the other group's frustration. 
now how the author authoritarian personality causes prejudice inquiry into authoritarian people's early lives revealed that as children they often faced harsh discipline that supposedly led them to repress their hostilities and impulses and to project them onto out groups and the third factor is social identity theory that is feeling superior to others humans are a group bound species our ancestral history prepares us to feed and protect ourselves that is to live in groups humans cheer for their groups keep for their groups and die for their groups now the third factors associated with causes of prejudice is cognitive factors to understand stereotyping and prejudice it is it also helps to remember how our mind work how does the way we think about the world and simplify it influence our stereotypes the first factor is categorization that is the classifying people into groups one way we simplify our environment is to categorize to organize the world by clustering objects into groups the second factor is perceived similarities and differences it's the same with people once we assign people to groups athletes drama majors math professors we are likely to exaggerate the similarity within the groups and the differences between them the third one is distinctiveness that is the perceiving people who stand out when someone in group is made conspicuous we tend to see that person as causing whatever happens the fourth factor is distinctiveness that is feeds self consciousness when surrounded by whites blacks sometimes detect people reacting to their distinctiveness the last one is vivid cases our minds also use distinctive cases as a shortcut to judging groups such generalizing from a single case can cause problems the fourth factor associated with causes of prejudice is attribution in explaining others actions we frequently commit the fundamental attribution error the first one is group serving bias thomas pettigrew showed how attribution errors bias people's expectations people's explanations of group members behaviors we grant members of our own group the benefit of the doubt for example she donated because she has a good heart he refused because he is using every penny to help support his mother and the second one is the just world phenomenon when we are taught we are taught that good is rewarded and evil is punished hard work and virtue pay dividends laziness and immorality do not from this it is but a short leap to assuming that those who flourish must be good and those who suffer must deserve their fate thank you so much for watching our video please click on the circle to subscribe our channel click on the boxes on your right to watch more videos like this video and share it with your friends